The first thing you need to do is to get the cable. You can find this online. I found it on Obiking. Once you have the cable, you need to plug it to your computer. So on the footer bar, you take the trainer port and you put it over there. And on the other hand, you just plug it onto the USB of your PC. Then on the footer bar, you go to linkage menu. Then you go to system type. You make sure that it's S F H S S selected. It will reboot. Then we need to activate the trainer mode. To do that, you go back to the linkage, you go to trainer, and you make sure that uh, the one at the top is on act, which means activate. Uh, and the other one is student, and it's a channel. Then we need to configure the switches on the footer To do that, you do on function, then you just select the switch that you want to use for arm and reset. That's the only two switches that I use. So I use SB and SH, which is the momentary for resetting. And then you have to type on those things and make sure that you confirm on the pop-up. Once you've done that, then we need to configure Steam. So to do this, we go to Steam, we click on Settings, and on the Settings screen, we have to click on Controller menu and then General Controller Settings. On the controller setting, you should see the gold controller. You click on it. For primary action, you would use one of your switches. For go back, which would set tertiary action, you use the other switch that you set up. I only use two switch. Then you, go, you scroll down this list. You make sure that your sticks are centered. You click on left stick X and you U left. You click on stick Y and you throttle down then right stick X, you roll, and uh, right stick Y, you just pitch down. Once this is done, you can click OK, and you, we can just configure lift off. Um, that will work with DRL as well. It would work with uh, DCL, uh, but I'm just going to do the demo for lift off right now. So we're launching lift off. Once you're here, you go onto uh, the option menu. You click on Control, then Controller. Once you're on the controller, you will see it will say unknown, but that's all, all good. You click on Calibrate, and you do the start calibration. It will ask you to move your sticks on the corners. You do that. You see it's moving. And now you proceed to the following um, as usual. It should work as usual. Center all your sticks ask you to throttle up, you do that, you center back your sticks. Once it's centered, it will ask you to pitch up. Then you go back to center, to normal, center your sticks. Then you roll right, center your stick. And then you have to go right. Once all of this, and you have centered all your sticks, you can see that for me, my quad is like moving slightly. So I have to click on fine tunes, and then put some dead bend. I'm just moving the dead bend on all the axes slightly a bit. And once this is done, just make sure that your quad is behaving correctly on all the axes. For me, this looks fine to me. I save, and that's it. And I can go enjoy the game. I hope this will work for you. Let me know in the comments if you have uh, any issues. I will try to help you. I usually don't do any educational video. I'm no Joshua Bardwell, but I hope uh, you find this one easy to understand. This is the first time I ever do that. If you want to see more, I invite you to check out my flight log videos. Uh, it's just me flying my quad, but you might find it interesting. And if you enjoy the content of my channel, well, feel free to subscribe, but no obligation whatsoever. And I think that's it.